Radio Raheem here with Peter Fury in a huge stage. You are going to be at the O2 Arena in the corner of Savannah Marshall. I mean, first of all, as long as you've been in boxing and know this sport so well, what does it mean to have an all women's card on a stage as big as the O2 and a platform as big as Sky Sports? I think it's fantastic for women's boxing. I think uh, it's amazing. It's a true saying when you need a real dance partner, you know, it couldn't get any better. You know, it's just, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, like they say, it takes two to tango. And in the ring on Saturday night, we're going to have two very, very uh, committed girls to somebody winning this competition. Uh, you know, Clarissa has a, has a big talk. She said a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, she doesn't seem, in any way, to respect much about Savannah's skill set. Uh, what is it that you've been training to do that maybe will surprise Clarissa on Saturday night? Well, this is a great thing about boxing, you know. You put all the talk out the window. And, you know, respect is earned. It's not a given. Mm -hmm. Respect is not earned by talking. Respect is earned by achievements and boxing. So that's what I'm into. That's what I look forward to. That's what's going to be a great fight. Well, as you know, mental is maybe 80% of the sport, as most fighters will tell me. Sure. And even though Clarissa has the bigger name, this is certainly Savannah's home. It's her biggest moment. And she's got the trappings of family and friends and fans all around. Uh, how do you stay focused on the goal? And are you at all concerned that maybe those hot lights in that bright moment uh, might uh, tighten her up early? No, because, uh, you know, any fool can be a trainer. You know, there's a lot more to training than that on this world level. You know, we talk about, you know, what about this? What about that? We speak about it months before and probably 18 months before. And so she's well prepared for its event mentally, physically. She's 100 percent. Obviously, a lot has been made of the uh, clash between them and the amateurs. Do you take anything away from that? Is there anything that, that still is relevant today to what happened 10 years ago? Certainly not for me, certainly not for Savannah. It might be for Clarissa Shields. She might have a little bit of edge with it. She might be upset with it. Uh, but for me, amateur and pro boxing, different sport. And when it comes to being a trainer, like you say, there's a lot more that goes into it uh, than just what happens on the day. Have you been looking at Clarissa Shields tapes and maybe breaking down where her vulnerabilities are. Not really, but I know what they are and uh, we're ready, we're ready to rock and roll on this show. Can't wait. <laughs> Can you give us one peek? Like, uh, what do you see that uh, those who are picking her to win don't see? I think she's good, but look, there's an answer to every solution. There's an answer to every problem. So, mm. you know, uh, Savannah goes by the right tactics. You know, it's, uh, it all depends on the night. Anything can happen. This is a 50-50 fight, but I'm, uh, I'm silently confident. Well, as well you know, the Fury name is constantly in the news. Uh, Tyson's been taking headlines uh, since Monday with this 60-40 uh, split to Joshua and this challenge. Uh, what do you make of that fight? And you think if it happens, how it goes? Well, that's a great fight. Get them all in. Let them have a fight. Fight everybody. <laughs> fight the best. Get in there. <laughs> well, what do you think? How do you think that goes? I think it's a good fight. I think it's... I, I don't see Joshua being successful in it. And we know that if that does happen, it's just the precursor to Fury Usyk, if Fury is indeed successful, which is the major fight. Uh, you know, stylistically, as they say, styles make fights. How do you match up those two styles? I think it's a great fight. Look, anything can happen in boxing. There's nothing surety in any boxing. That's why it makes it so exciting. You know, nothing's a sure thing in boxing, but the good thing with the heavyweight scene, we're seeing who the real champion is. We're seeing who the best is. And that time's coming very soon. And lastly, the fighters aren't the only competitors in the ring. Uh, trainers have pride, too. Trainers have records, too. And with all that's been said by Clarissa Shields and her claiming to be the greatest woman of all time, if you're able to win on Saturday night, what does it mean to you? Uh, I'm just an old guy. Gray hair. Doesn't <laughs> matter. What matters to me is Savannah's hand being lifted. It's not about me. It's not about anything. It's about getting the fighter to win. I'm outside the rope. I'm outside the rope. Remember that. <laughs> You're keeping it cagey, keeping it close to the vest. I understand that. Sure. Radio Rahim with Peter Fury. Good speaking. With you.